Hi everybody and welcome back to Jewelry with Jen. Of course I am Jen and I thought we would have a little fun uh, working in the bargain bead box um, for March since basically March is over. <laughs> um, it's going to be here and um, as we wrap up March um, I've been having a lot of fun working on this collection and as I mentioned to you in the ombre um, necklace I did the other day I'm totally um, taking this entire seafoam sunrise bargain bead box for March and I am uh, doing southwest inspired and so that is what we're continuing in my quest. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. And welcome aboard for those of you that are stumbling across and new to my channel. And guys, don't forget to give me a like, thumbs up, and a comment. It really helps my channel. Um, and I really appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And... Um, Join us in my world of all things jewelry and crafts. Okay, guys, so here's what's happening. I've got some stuff, <laughs> but here's what's so funny, or what is new and interesting, is as you can see, I have ear wires. <laughs> so snaps, snaps for John mixing it up, right? Um... I, you know, I've said this so many times, I don't make enough earrings and I don't know why. I really honestly don't even have an answer, but you know what? I'm going to start making them now. <laughs> I'm going to start making earrings now because the Southwest, um, even though, you know, they did include the ear wires, I am so inspired by the Southwest palette, which as you know, is really broad. Um, but you know, certainly turquoise is an, is a, a statement, right. In, uh, making, um, Southwest inspired jewelry. So we're going to do some earrings. And so I thought this would be fun to turn the camera on and you guys might enjoy, um, watching me put some earrings together. And if you're a beginner, I know a lot of beginners follow me. Um, hopefully this will inspire you or teach you, um, how to make earrings. They're really not that challenging. Um, they're probably like a side stretch bracelet, some of the simplest things to make, but not always, depending upon what you're using. And so I've got some ideas, but we're going to do them all together <laughs> because that's why, because. <laughs> so I I have an idea that I think we're going to put three different sets of earrings together, but we're going to have three different types of earrings, my friends. So let's get into it. And we'll modify as we go. We always reserve the right to change our minds. <laughs> because I don't know. I just, I laid three out. Um, and I think I know where I'm going with it. But you never know. So what I have, guys, is I've got most of the um, Amazonite from the box here. Um, but I do have some stuff that I pulled from my stash. Like these cute little peach rondelles. Little peach little peachy peach. Um, they are a little faceted. Actually, they're little faceted rondelles and they're an apricot. And of course, peach being the color of the year, but it goes so beautifully in Southwest. And I have a couple, a couple of these adorable little seed beads. And I think these are my only two. I dug those out and I have these gorgeous beads. Um, I had picked these up from Joanne's or my stash. I got these last summer. And they're the really interesting. They're they're beautiful, um, smooth. Um, they're glass, but they are just look at the colors, guys. I don't even know. I mean, it's a cross between a peach and kind of a salmon. It, it it's they're so beautiful. And I just pulled these out of my stash and I thought, gosh, boy, do those blend in beautifully. And the same with these. I also picked these up from Joann's a while back. They're my stash. They have, there's the, they're just beautiful. They're more on the orange side, and they have these gorgeous brown veins through them. And these, again, to me, are very Southwesty. So I pulled a couple of things from my stash. Um, these um, rondelles came in the bargain bead box. I'm not sure we're going to use them or not, but I did pull... That's what I had. I had one of them kind of pulled out over here. 
just because I'm like, let me just look at it and see where it's going to go. Um, so let's jump into it, guys. Um, so I've got eye pens, right? And then I, th those came in the box. And then for my stash, I've got some head pens and that we're dealing with, again, the copper undertones here. Um, so I have some flat head pens in my stash I pulled out. And of course, some copper jump rings and from my stash and then some bead caps. These are really cool. These are like, um, I think those are 8.123. Yeah, these are really cool, like eight point bead caps in copper. And I thought these would look really cool with these. So we'll see. And then I have also some um, Daisy spacers and copper um, I pulled from my stash. So a couple of things for my stash. But first things first, guys, is, you know, they gave us these half drilled. Um, and um, they're so beautiful. But I've never really worked with half drilled before. And it's very bizarre to me um, that they gave us half drilled, um, interesting, but at any rate, so the first things first is you can use E6000, but I am not a fan of E6000. I like the Loctite super glue. It's the gel control. And so I have a little tray here. And so the first things first is we need to get some eye pens. Um, we need to find two that are straight, um, so again, um, for you beginners out there or intermediate beaters that are not too familiar with dealing with half drilled, um, it's really, you just have to get an eye pin or head pin. You can also grab craft wire and you have to just cut it, um, make a loop before you, um, do it, um, do this. So you'd make a loop. So I'll just grab the eye pins in this case, and we need to cut it to figure out the depth of where it, it, it's going to land in the speed, and then we need to glue it, okay? And so we're going to do that first here because we need to let it set. So what I am going to do is I'm going to grab my cutter. So I have two pretty straight head pins. So I'm going to go down about halfway, and I'm going to cut that. And again, we have to just keep cutting until, okay, so we need way further than that, until we figure out um, where this is going to land. And then we need to definitely, okay, we need to make sure that they're going to be even. So I'm going to cut them both um, before I glue them in to make sure that they're like as close as I can get them to the same. There we go. Okay, so now that's going to work. And so you see how small I cut that. And so then we're going to end up gluing this in a second, but I'm going to cut the other one first. And then, so we know this one goes over here. So let me cut the other one first. So I make sure that my links are, I'm going to cut it a little bit longer because I'm not sure, you know, where the drill, um, half drill ends inside the bead. They're all probably different, so I'm going to cut a little longer first. Okay, so we can go a little further. Okay, let's try right here. And then we'll get them glued and we'll set them over to the side and start making some other earrings. Let's see how that works out. I may have just, see, I may have just cut that one a smidge too short. Yep, that's a smidge too short. So therefore, I'll cut this one. Let me match it up to that one and I'll cut it a smidge longer because that was just a little bit, a little bit, um, the eye pin was sitting too close to the bead there. So let's see if I can get it right this time. smidge more. Just kind of got to be patient and just cut a little at a time until this lands where we want it to land. See, that's much better. 
Okay, so I think that will work. It's a little higher up on, yep, so those match up well. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is we very carefully, we just need to take a little bit of glue and put it on the tip. And then because we're using the gel control, we have to just literally be super careful. Now with the E6000, you can, um, and I'm actually should have grabbed my pliers first. Um, you can wipe it off, but not the super glue. So I'm gonna get this pushed in there and hope none bleeds out. And we'll let that set in there. Okay, very good. And we're gonna put him right there to dry. Okay, now this time I will grab it with my plier. And so I'm just kind of putting it inside, getting a little bit of glue on that there. Just a teeny bit. Okay, there you go. Hopefully that's not too much. Steady little hand as she goes here. And you do want to make sure the direction. Also, guys, when you're gluing these, um, that your head pin is. Because once it's dry, uh, we're not moving that head pin. <laughs> so I opted to go ahead and put mine... Ooh, I should think about that before it dries because I want to hang them. I'm not even sure how I'm going to hang them. Uh-oh. Let me think real quick before these dry, guys, if I need to turn them the other way. So am I going to hang these directly? Or because I was wanting to put some of the little baby faceted Amazonite on there. I think we might end up just going ahead and we'll just do them just straight because, you know, they're so beautiful. They don't really even need anything else. So, okay. So we're good. So if we have it like that, we'll just hang them straight on there and just let them go ahead and be like that. Okay. Mission accomplished. Cap on glue. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, now, let's start with why those dry. And let me move them so I don't keep jiggling it. Okay. So let's start over here. And so here's what I'm thinking. These bead caps are so cool on these shapes. Oh, these shapes are so cool. Um, but what I was thinking, now that I'm looking at it, is maybe we'll do like two different um, eye pins and head pins so we have more of like a dangling. Let's try it. Let's try it. And as per usual, guys, you know, um, all your beads, you know, will be different. Your eye pins, your head pins. Um, your gauges will be different, so always make sure that the eye pin that you're choosing and the head pins, that especially if you're doing like a head pin, um, that your bead is going to be not falling through and it's going to snug right up there. So that's good. They're not quite drilled perfectly, but that's that's fine. The imperfection of it is fine. Yeah, okay, so that'll work. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have these dangling separate. So I think what we'll do, guys, is let's just make some simple loops. And I just usually, you know, kind of hold my head pin like that, resting on my finger. And then I use my, literally my fingers with as a judge. That's kind of how I do it. You know, as you get better, and more advanced, um, that might be a little bit long, um, 
you kind of, you know, you'll figure it out. Um, how to judge, you know, how to cut them. I always kind of just use my, like I said, my finger as a judge. Um, and it usually comes out okay. And as you can see, you know, now I'll just, you know, adjust it a little bit. So it's laying straight. So when I hang it, it's straight. So we can do that easily. And that's much better. Okay, so that's good. And then we'll do the same thing with this guy. So I'll just put that there and use my finger as a judge there. And trim that off. I think that was pretty close. And just rolling my loop forward here. And then I just kind of try to straighten it out a little bit there. Eye pins and head pins are super easy to work with, guys. They're pretty malleable. You know, they usually cooperate pretty well. I'm just kind of putting them next to each other to make sure that they're even and look pretty even to me. And if I need to straighten them out or adjust them anymore, I'll do that when they are put together. Okay, so there's that. And now we need some eye pens. And let's see. I was thinking of doing like a, this cap. I don't know if it's too big. See, I don't think it is. And then because it's got that flat on the other side of the speed, it's flat. I was thinking to put my little flower spacers on there and put another one the other direction on there. And then maybe these little apricot, little cute little, um, I think these are three millimeter. See, now that might be, that might be a look. That's kind of cute. Okay, we're going for it. Okay, very good. And then same thing. Just kind of a little that off make a quick loopy loop and if we need to um worry about the way that the direction that our loops are um i usually will do that when i am constructing them on the ear wire so if i need to turn my loops um i'm going to find that out in a second okay so the other one we need another eye pen and we'll put bead cap on and then the first bead and then a little spacer. This is really fun. I hope you guys are having fun tuning in, making some earrings with me. Southwest, everybody um, has been, you know, asking me to make more. Um, so I'm doing it. I'm making more and I'm making earrings. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying spending a little spending a little time with me. We're making Southwest earrings. How cool are we? We're making multiple pairs to boot. Pretty cool, guys. Okay, so there we go. So now I just need to literally look at the direction of my earrings. So obviously you know, it, the earring, you know, goes this way through the earlobe and then the lever back closes. So this would be the front. So if I put my loop through, I want it to be that way. I think we're good. I think having them the same direction here, as you can see, my loops are the same direction on either side here. I think that's going to work. So let's go ahead. And so now we'll grab our chain nose and we'll just open up the loops we just made. And we'll feed them on the ear wire. And then we'll make sure we close these securely. And then this is where I, once they get on the ear wire, I, you know, kind of hang them up in front of me and see, do I need to straighten them out? Are they lopsided or whatever adjustments I need to make? That one looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. 
That's so cute. That's adorable. Okay, so now we're gonna open up that bottom loop. We can either open up this loop or the other one. So because we made this one and that one is already closed, let's go ahead and just open this loop up. And if we feed that on there, and then we'll close it and just see, I think it doesn't gonna matter, it doesn't gonna, I don't think it's gonna matter um, to tell you the truth. So long as we're straight the way that our loops are facing um, at the moment because they are gonna swing around. But I do wanna make sure that, because this is the front of my ear wire, that my loop opening is towards the back. So that one's the opposite direction. So I'm gonna flip that around. so that this opening part of my loop is gonna be facing towards the back because this is the front of my earring. So my open, yeah, so my opening is towards the back and I'll just give that a little very gentle squeeze there to make sure that's nice and secure and it is. And Now I'm going to kind of dangle it in front of me to see if it's, is it uneven? If I need to straighten it, it's actually completely even. So there we go. Super cute, I like that. I like those, yep I do. Okay, so same thing is gonna happen over here on it's matcher, so we're gonna crank that loop open. And we'll go ahead and feed the ear wire on and then close our loop. And we wanna make sure that our loop is perfectly closed and everything is straight. Again, you know, eye pins and head pins, as you guys know, you know, they're very easy to work with and um, straighten out. I shouldn't give you too much trouble. They don't usually give me any trouble, so uh, that's always good. And so these beads are um, drilled strangely, like almost, they're not perfectly symmetrical there. So that's why, can you see that there? That's in the bead. Um, that's why it's kind of jingling around a little bit, but that's okay because that's actually the look I was going for. And when you're wearing um, them, uh, they'll like dangle around and jingle around, which is really cool. So let's see which direction my earring goes here. So it goes like that's the front. So then we want our loop to be towards the back. I think that's... Nope, that's not right, it's the other way. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. So cute, so that one's just a little sideways, so I'll just straighten that out a little bit. Yep, there we go. So there's pair number one. Love it, love, love, love. I think that is so beautiful. The way these shine, but the faceting, oh, the balance is just, that's gorgeous pair of earrings. I like them a lot. Thumbs up. I'm giving myself a thumbs up on that. <laughs> um, hope you guys liked um, the bracelet Bonanza show and tell. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had so much fun with my bracelets. Um, and don't forget, um, newsletters uh, went out today. Um, I actually, for those of you that didn't sign up, I did go ahead and give you that code in that bottom box of the show and tell in the description box of that show and tell on Saturday with the bracelet bonanza. Um, so you guys can have 25% off anything in my store. Um, and that's only going to be good for 21 days, April 1st through the 21st. So 
don't forget about that. Okay, guys, so what do we have going on? So we've got, I've got some chain. And by the way, this is all the chain I have because I've already made my necklaces and I'm out of chain. They did not give us very much chain actually, which is actually kind of weird because um, we usually get like the rose gold and the silver. I can usually make three or four necklaces. I was only able to make two with the chain. So they actually didn't give us much of the, the copper chain. But I do have this tiny little Rolo chain um, that I'm somehow wanting to incorporate here. So I had these cute little beads. Now, here's the issue too, by the way, guys, is these tiny Amazonite that came in the box, The I, I, I think they've got to be a two millimeter. Um, the eye pins they gave us, they won't go through. The head pens I have, they will almost go through, but I'm afraid if I force it, they'll just break. So I can't even, I don't even know why I just put those here because I remember I just realized that a few minutes ago before I started taping uh, that these beads, so that's the one downfall that if there's a negative, because we always have to give constructive criticism, is these beads can only go on beading wire. I almost guarantee you they won't even fit on Coriana beading chain because they they, they they will not fit even on the head pens. And mine are uh, one gauge smaller than the ones they gave us. They won't go, even go through mine. So, you know, it's just interesting that they gave us, you know, all the ear wires and stuff. But, um, you know, I like to be able to do whatever I want with all the product that I get. And I don't like... Um, the two millimeters, uh, and, sh you know, we have been getting quite a bit of them lately in the boxes. And I, you know, unless you're doing just beading, you know, or, or bead weaving even, or sewing, you know, that's fine. You know, they'll work, but, um, obviously I really wanted to incorporate them in my earrings, but that is absolutely not happening. It's not happening because they won't fit. Okay, so we're moving over here. We're still letting those guys dry. Um, it's usually really fast. It doesn't say how long, but usually it's really fast, but I'm just for good measure. I don't want to mess with them. So I'm gonna, we're going to do them last. So we've got one pair down, which I think are so pretty. And then we've got all of our scraps, which we do not ever want to get rid of our scraps. You never know what you'll need. Okay, so we're moving on to the second pair here, guys. Um, these are, oh, I love these oranges. My last two. So what should we do? So again, I was thinking, and then I pulled these. I forgot these are on my stash too. So I actually have quite a bit of stuff in my Southwest, in my stash. I need to actually start pulling some of it out. But anyway, these are really cool spacers, turquoise. They really match these orange beads perfectly. And I'm not mad at that on that Amazonite bead like that. That kind of looks cute. That kind of looks good. But I was wanting to put some chain. So we could do one of two things. We could either add a jump ring to the chain, put it on the ear wire, and then add the eye pin to the bottom of this chain and kind of make it like that. Or we could do two layers and see again, trends this year, long earrings are really, really trendy. Um, and I'm, I'm just wanting to really incorporate these little apricot three millimeters I have because of that bead. I don't know, should we put an like the larger rondelle in the apricot that came? I wonder how that would look if we did like two different layers. Let's see. I may need some more eye pins here. They're right in front of me. Um, let's see. So let's string the um, string. <laughs> Feed the bottom on. Let's see what it kind of looks like. Make sure my head pen fits 
perfect. Snug as a bug. So see, I think that is so pretty. See, I like that. I don't, I mean, there's an, we could also put it on the bottom. It'll fit on the head pan. No, that's not a look. Cause I was one thinking maybe will we put one of these rondelles and then So we've got, I mean, that certainly, that's an option. That's, that looks kind of pretty too. But I was thinking what we can do is put the rondelles up on like another, on an icon and then swing that from the chain. That's what I was kind of thinking, maybe even just two. See, I was of course wanting to do the apricot and the Amazonite, you know, every other, like, a run of five or six. Um, but they won't fit on the eye pens. So we could do that. That looks kind of pretty. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. I'm wondering if it's, is that throwing me off? I mean, I've got... Also, some of these little guys. It's almost too big on top of this orange bead. You know, but I mean, I like it, but it's almost a smidge too big, and I don't like it on the bottom. But it needs to be, like, hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't like it on the bottom. It looks like a flying saucer. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Oh my goodness. Um, what if we went like this? Let's look at it this way and see. See, to me, it's just that's minimalist. But I don't know. I really like that turquoise in between. That That's just not doing much for me. And even if I put a rondelle on top of this guy... Yeah, see, I think it needs to be on the next run because these are both super shiny on the bottom here. So I think we'll put the rondelles above it, but I don't know. Let me let me do this again with that flower spacer there. I mean, I wonder if we do like a bead cap on the bottom. Maybe that'll help our cause. I don't know. Okay, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Um, what if we did, let me see, I've got a couple of different types of bead caps. We've got these spacers too, but I don't want them to be too heavy. Um, that might be too big, let's see. Not terribly mad at that, but maybe a smidge smaller. Let's see about that guy. Maybe too small, let's say. Oh, you know what? Look at that. That's that's it right there. Okay. That's the one. I think that works. Yeah. It that's what it needed. Okay. So if we do that, and then what if we do this? And then one of these like kind of lamp spacers. I'm just obviously designing with you guys here. No? Let me go back to the flower spacer and see it with adding just that bead cap. And then if we have some chain. So then if we have, maybe if we put some chain between, hmm. So now it's like, okay, should we put chain in between the next eye pin with a couple of rondelles? Or should we do just some chain and hang it just from some chain? 
don't know. It's just, strangely, this is not working for me. I want to use them so bad, but sometimes it just, it's not, it just doesn't work. So that's okay. But I do like this small bead cap and that. I like that. Although I feel like it kind of does need something on top of it. What about if we put one of these little guys? Oh, that's kind of cute. That might be it right there. We might have found it, guys. We might have got it. Okay, so it was the speed cap. And then the speed. And then a daisy spacer. And then let's see how that looks. Let me straighten that out. See, I kind of like that. That's not, that's not terrible. It's actually quite beautiful. Although the spacers are a little bit different size. Maybe if we put just this lamp spacer. Or what if we put a, another bead cap on top? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, there we go. What do you guys think? I think that, I think that's, that's, I like that. Okay, let's do that. That's what's happening. Okay, so you guys are not happening. All right, let's go and find one more. Yeah. Yeah, that looks, that's so cute. Okay, let's get our loopy loops out of the way. Loopy loops. You know, I've been making these loops, you guys, for probably 12 years. And I still don't make any two the same, you know. And I do have that cool one-step looper. And, but for, I mean, you can use it just about all the time on anything. But I don't like it on the earrings the one step looper because I feel like it's just, um, it's too bulky. It makes the loops in my opinion, a little bit too big. Um, so I do not use the one step looper on when I'm making earrings, which is, you know, it's not very often, but still, <laughs> um, but I can never make, you know, any two loops the same, but I do my best and things turn out well. Um, I am a bit of a perfectionist as you might start realizing, um, you know, because oftentimes too, after I tape something, I look at it and I'm like, oh, that looks wrong. I have to redo it like the ombre that I just did. I actually tore it apart after the video. I'm like, oh, I saw two mistakes. So I tore it apart, did it again, repositioned the beads and, you know, but teach their own. And, you know, it's, you know, do you, right? <laughs> and it's what I, I don't know. I just, I like, I'm so passionate about what I do. I like my stuff to be correct. Okay. Um, now, we have these two beauties now. The question is, are we going to just add chain and dangle them? Or are we going to do maybe either one of these, either of these with a little apricot on the top? Maybe that's too apricot-y. Might work. Those are pretty. That's really quite pretty. I kind of like that. And I think that we should put the chain on the top. Yep, I think so. 
Let's do it. So we'll use an eye pen now. It looks pretty to me. Let's do one and see. So we'll use an eye pen now. So it's already got one loop on it. Yeah, I think that looks so pretty. Yeah, that's, I think that's a vibe. I definitely think that's a vibe. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to have to make sure I'm being mindful of my loop here now because, <coughs> excuse me, guys, um, this has to go through that tiny chain I have. So that's why I made a tiny little loop there. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Uh, because that, that, that chain is so small, super small. So I'm just making a much smaller loop and I'm trying to be perfect with my little loop. So I'm going all the way to the end of my round nose on this one, as you can see there. So I'm making a perfect tiny little loop there. Yeah, there we go. Very good, perfect. Okay, so now let's determine how long do we want these. So I can cut my chain. So, I don't know, guys. See, again, you know, I could put them like this. Then we could have some chain. And then we could have these. That actually kind of looks really cool, don't you think? Like, that chain in between the two, that looks pretty cool. And the chain will feed directly on... So we don't have to use any jump rings to add any bulk. That might be cool. So let's do it that way. Let's 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 check it out. Let's check it out and see what we shall create here. Something beautiful, that's for sure. You can't go wrong with Southwest. Okay, so there's my ear wire. Let me get that on there. And then I'll open the loop on the bottom of this eye pen and um, we'll hang the chain on it and see how long we want the chain. Actually, made perfect little tiny loops. <laughs> After I was just dissing myself about my own loop making, <laughs> I just made perfect loops. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? Okay, so now we'll feed this chain on. I know that'll go on there. Yes, you will. Beautiful. And now I'll make sure to close that up perfectly. Excellente. So cute. Yeah. Okay, so now how long do we want that chain? I feel like we need to make these kind of like, I'm going to grab, um, oh, of course, I do not have my, do I have my ruler? Yeah, i got to reach across, guys. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was at the desk or where. Okay. Um, so let me just go ahead and let's construct the other one, at least get the top on there. So... I've got at least both of those on there. And then we'll, it'll be nothing for us to do this last pair. They should certainly be dry. Oh, it's so good. So good. Um, so I feel like I, I want to know what, like, two inches looks like, or maybe even longer. Because, again, long ear wires, or, um, excuse me, long earrings are in below chin length, are very in this year. So two inches is right there. So then these go to three. 
Nope, that's too much in between. So if I go to one and a half. Okay, so you know, that's not terrible, guys. So let me, sorry, let me put this up in camera view here. So, basically, I'm not including my air wire. And so, obviously, if I cut the chain at two inches, we've got about a one inch component here. I feel like that's too much chain in between. So, if we put it to the one and a half, this will be like two and a half inch long earrings, which is still very trendy. And I think that's good. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're, we're doing it. So we're going to cut the chain at one and a half. Right there. And then all we have to do is open that loop up. And put the rest of the earring on it. And they're done. So again, you know, for my beginners, I hope you guys are having fun hanging out with me. And if you're a beginning beater, you know, not really familiar, um, with making earrings, you know, as you can see, they're not terribly difficult. It's just really about designing on the fly sometimes. Um, things turn out beautiful. You don't always have to pre-design. And I wanted to make us, you know, three different styles here. Um, uh, and that's certainly what we've done. Um, and so, you know, you are learning, um, if you're a beginner, you know, how to make three different types, you know, of earrings. So that's what we have that turned out beautiful. For some bizarre reason, my beautiful, you know, turquoise beads, they just, they weren't happening. They just were not happy. So <laughs> it's okay. Um, but anyway, so that's what we have. And that looks pretty cool. And these dangle two and three quarter inches, which is great. So now... All we have to do is put the chain on this guy, and then we have to make sure we cut it the same length as the other guy. So we'll use the other earring as our guide. Let's feed the last link on this loop here. Close up my loopy loop. And by the way, I had somebody, several people, by the way, actually, um, recently ask me um, to start um, that you, you know, on my videos, they see a lot of my tools and stuff in the background um, to do some reviews. And I appreciate um, that commentary. And you know what? I'm not opposed. And you know, I do have a little bit of experience with some tools. Um, so you know what? I'm thinking about doing a video here um, in a couple of the next couple of days. Um, so thank you for your suggestion. I appreciate that and your faith in my opinion. Um I think that's a great idea. I haven't done anything in my Jewelry 101 series in a good while. And let's go back to our roots. <laughs> and, um, well, let, you know, let it ride. And so um, I appreciate that idea. And I will go ahead and do just that. I, I'll get some of my um, notes together and... Um, some of my various different tools and cross my T's and dot my I's and we'll do a, a video about reviewing tools. I think that's, I think that's a really good suggestion. I think a, um, a lot of people need to know, um, which is why I started that Jewelry 101 series out in the first place was to pay all that information for it, but we haven't done anything on that in a while. 
um, since I've launched my website, obviously, I've been swamped busy um, getting that all situated. Um, but I will carve out the time. Oh my goodness. So um, I'll do a review on tools. These are, oh my God, you guys, look what we did. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, if those are not awesome, those just like, that was not even, you saw, that was not what I visualized at all, envis envisioned at all, and that's what ended up happening. And this, even though this is just two on the top, it's just subtle and still almost minimalist, but yet trendy because they're super long. Look how cute. I love these. And they're just about three inches. So we've got pair one and we've got pair two. And now let's deal with what we got going on over here. And let me see if we're dry. I hate to touch it, but we should be. Oh, yeah. Not like going to yank on it, but okay. Okay. So now here's what, again, because these little beads won't feed through. And in this case, I just want these to speak for themselves. You know, I didn't want to put anything else with them. We certainly could. We can make them elaborate. Um, you know, we can do lots of different fun things. But you know what? I think I want to make these stand by themselves. And so we have a choice, two choices here. We're either just going to string them right on the ear wire or string them, I keep saying string them, um, we'll loop them right on there so they're just a minimalist, or we will put them on some chain, and I think we're going to do chain. I think they want chain, and they deserve chain. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. So in that case, we need to use a jump ring. But before I cut my chain, I want to see how this is going to look. So let's feed the last link of that chain on a jump ring here. And then we'll feed it on one of the ear wires. And let's see if the jump ring, because these are the smallest I have. Unfortunately, I do not have any two or four millimeter. I only have six millimeter in copper at the moment. And it might be too much, but it might be okay too. So I just, I want to just kind of get a feel for how that might look. You know, I'm not mad at it. It's not, it's not really overwhelming, but don't you guys agree? that these just, these need to be dangling from some chain. Yeah, yeah, they do. And I think these are gonna work. Let me just close that up a little better. These are really thick um, jump rings. There we go, that's better. So I want to make sure that chain does not come off. Nope, that's not going anywhere. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, again, let's just see. I think maybe like maybe an inch and a half. I don't know. Let's see. This in and of itself is almost three quarters, just the bead itself. So let's see if we have them dangling by an inch and a half. I think that's good. It's almost, actually it's almost an inch and three quarter. So let's cut the chain. All right there. We're just going to cut it right at an inch. And now we can just attach this right to our eye pen. Oh, I pray this is dry and does not come out. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be ever so gentle. Come on. There you go. Okay. Yeah. 
that worked out beautifully. Now we'll just do the same thing. And we're all done. We made three pairs of earrings, guys. We made three pairs of earrings in an hour. We could have made them faster, but, you know, we were chatting. I was chatting. I'm guilty. And making decisions. And I didn't design off camera. Sometimes I like to just talk with you guys and, you know, design on camera. And kind of design on the fly. As you saw, you know, I pulled stuff out, but I really didn't have anything solid in mind. And, you know, we made modifications. And I think that's fun, right, for all of us, you know, to connect. We pay ideas forward. We think about it. We talk about it. <laughs> um, that's what it's about. So I'm just going to match these guys up next to each other. And... Okay, let's just get you even. So then it's that link. So this one right there. Okie dokie, just about there, guys. And we'll just add that last link on there. Close that. That is holding perfectly using that um, the Loctite super glue. So very happy about that. And let's see. Gosh, I hope I just did those even. I did. <laughs> and that's what we have. So I'll pull them. I'll pull them all up. And this is what we made, guys. We made three pair of beautiful Southwest-inspired earrings using copper undertones. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys have a favorite? I do not. If I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be these. I'm insanely crazy about these beads. That's probably why. But they're all so beautiful. Love them. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, having a little earring party. <laughs> and until next time, friends, be well.